Oh no, my camera is out of place. <laughs> Welcome back to some more Luris Druid. Uh, I won the die roll. I will show my companion. And... Okay, so if I hit a land drop, then I can go turn one noble, turn two eldritch into a druid, turn three finale for the victory. Like finale, or I guess I need a white source still. So if I if I top deck a dual land and I have two draw steps, two draws to hit it because of the bobble, that's that's too risky. This hand is worse. Opponent is keeping seven. Man, this hand is terrible, but I'm going to keep it here and I'll bottom Temple Garden and a thicket. Okay, leading off showing like this means my opponent might think I'm on some sort of Jund deck, or maybe Traverse Jund. Giver of Runes. My opponent played a Mountain, um, so I'm probably pretty interested in Giver of Runes. Uh, I do have the Spell Skite, so I don't know if I need to double up. What does Mountain tell me? It tells me it's probably some sort of Burn deck, right? Yeah, shuffle that away. Let's lean harder on the spell skite. We want druid anyway. There's the druid. Metallic Mimic. Up against goblins. Okay. Kind of wish I just dropped the druid. They probably had the tribal burn spell, though. Okay, now I just need to draw. I have... A nine tutors and two ballistas, eleven good top decks here. And Horizon Canopy is actually a decent top deck because it gives me another redraw. So there's fourteen okay draws. There's fourteen good draws for me out of fifty cards in my deck. That one is one of the good ones. Can you F6? Let alone the fact that I have lunge in my hand, so it really, really doesn't matter. And I have a spell skite in play, so
Nice try, opponent. Yep. Okay, so in this matchup, uh, Oriok Champion's pretty good. I think Forge Tender's probably fine. All their removal, I think, is red. Uh, I might want some number of paths to disrupt their combo, which... Veil of Summer is also interesting because they do run, I believe, like Thought Seizes and stuff like that. So these are all the cards I'm interested in. Um, uh, as is tradition, I'm going to get rid of the worst tutor spell right from the get-go. Cards I absolutely want. Um, I think I'll cut... I think I want to trim a Ballista. I have the two Duskwatch, which I, I like here. I think I'll trim a lunge. Oriak Champion, I believe, stops their stupid little combo. So... I think I'll be happy with this. Okay, up a game against Red Black Goblins. Opponent kept a questionable seven in my opinion. It didn't seem like they had that much. They had a metallic mimic and a munitions goblin but that doesn't seem to be enough to stop a druid combo especially when i'm leading off a turn two spell skite i'm not sure our opponent knew that they were just dead or maybe they're hoping i just misclicked i don't know that was on a mold of five shows how explosive this deck can be um I have one combo piece. I have a protection spell. Uh, I don't have a druid, which normally in this type of situation I want, want a druid, but I do kind of have a druid there. I think I'm going to keep this because of the bobble, and I got a lot of rebuys here. Th this hand is so questionable, though. Especially since I did just uh, mold to five and still win. I'm assuming my opponent's going to mull to a more interactive hand. And going turn one bird into turn two spell skite seems to be a pretty good answer to a more interactive hand here. Okay. In case my opponent's got thought seize, I'm not going to activate the bobble just yet. any of you guys remember the time before we had all these cool sounds in mtgo there were sounds but they were so much worse like not that not that these sounds are great or anything but they were so bad before goblin rebel master okay so this could be like a more aggro version of goblins which i wasn't really expecting I have three available mana. I can get a Forge Tender and play it. I think I'm just going to play Spell Skite. I was considering holding up the blue mana instead with a bird, but that would just save me one life if it matters. Like, if I end up using it, I'm net one life there because the Horizon Canopy costs one life, that costs two. 
But this is a guaranteed one life save as opposed to a chance for two life saved, so. I don't want to do this. I think I want to e call into Druid. Hold up Spell Skite and kind of pass. And now I'm going to have Finale for Vizier and then two Horizon Canopies to crack into an answer here next turn. So I'm pretty happy with that. Because I have three E-Calls, three Finales, four Viziers, and one Ballista. Let's put in the Rattle Master in play. See what my opponent's drawing. Munitions expert. Okay. I'm just going to take this four damage. So I have a draw here, a draw here, a draw here, and my regular draw step to try to draw one of my many, many answers to just win the game. And we can just do it the easy way. You know what? I just want to put Loris in play because I can. This game's over. I don't think of any reason not to put Loris in play. Mostly because I don't need it. So they have three cards in hand. Even if they had three removal spells, I still have the spell skite, and I'm getting a walking ballista for a lot. So yeah, probably not worth it. Game opponent. All right. Opponent did not really do much there, so it was kind of an uninteractive race, and I had Spell Skite as protection both times, so even if they had interaction, it didn't really matter. I gotta say, I've been impressed with the Spell Skite so far. I think it works really well with Giver. Um, I was always a fan of the angel that gives all your, you and your creatures hexproof, but Spellskite seems to work better in this deck, especially since we are running a companion. So that's some more Luris Druid action. Thanks for watching.